Greetings Commanders, this is Commander Mekin, and today we're going to talk about a new module that uh, Frontier Development has accidentally released to a few commanders who were quick enough to buy it at the ports where it was made available. That module, which is intended to be released with a completion of the latest community goals, is the Pulse Weave Xeno Scanner. It's a module that's designed to scan the new Fargoid Titan, and the way it operates is in a combined way similar to how the old school asteroid focused wave uh, pulse wave scanner works and how the traditional xeno scanner works so if you look at it how it's configured in the fire groups it actually has two different fire modes it has a xeno scan which works like the old xeno scanner with a range of one kilometer and it has a pulse wave xeno scan which is the asteroid like scanning feature which is used to scan the titan so if you switch to that mode, you'll see you have the two different settings. If you like target an interceptor or some other um, Fargoid that can be scanned with a Xeno scanner, you'll be able, able to scan it in a range of one kilometers. And instead, if you fire it with the pulse wave mode, which is what you're seeing right now, it will scan the overall Titan. And it will highlight in green so-called areas of interest. Now we're too far for it to show any at this point in time, but as we get closer, we'll be able to see more of those. In particular, there's two new areas of interest that are only highlightable with this new post Xeno scanner. You can see the tip of the maw has a limpet point, which is how you get some of the new materials that are accessible only using this particular device. By selecting the docking port of this small uh, limpet docking point, I can fire a research limpet at it and it will connect and it will allow to gather one of the new material samples. Now, I have attracted the attention of um, most likely everything at this point in time. So I'm going to use my TV beam to cool off and let's see if I shake the tail of these guys, which is generally a quick thing to do. Oh, my limpet probably got destroyed in the process, but it's fine because there's always more limpet points to be used. Again, Using a pulse wave Xeno scanner highlights areas of interest around the Titan. And those are not limited to the new limpet docking ports. They will also highlight materials that are available around, for example, the launch tubes. As you can see, there's. Oh, ouch, I'm getting caustic missiles fired at me. These are the launch tubes, and around them, like, you'll find a variety of materials highlighted. Here again, this is one of the limpet points that are instead associated with the Titan hull itself. Again, you need to sub-target it and the limpet docking port to be able to fire a research limpet at it. But as is the case, you can actually target more than one at any point in time. So you can, like with a single research limpet controller, you can fire up to three limpet limpets themselves. And these will go and they will do their thing. And what they come back with is a randomly generated type of material uh, called Titan tissue sample in the case of these particular limpet points that are on the hull. There's three different qualities of these materials. There's partial Titan tissue sample, there's the regular which has no qualifier Titan tissue sample, and then there's a deep uh, Titan tissue sample uh, which is um, the one that has the highest value. Whether they have any different practical uses at this point it is unknown as it's still unknown what can be done with these materials at the point in time. Now keep in mind, these materials are caustic. So you will want corrosion resistant cargo racks to be able to um, to be able to hold them. Or rather you can, but obviously if you can if you hold caustic cargo with uh, traditional cargo racks, bad things happen as you start taking damage and eventually your cargo hatch fails and eventually you lose all your cargo, so you generally don't want to do that. So, as you can see, this has completed. The research limpet is coming back. Um, the obviously limpet needs the cargo scoop to be retracted to like come back, and this is a partial tissue sample for the Titan. The limpet point is still there. Like these, I personally found that last a variable number from one to three uh, different. Um, attempts at gathering materials. So again, let's go and see if we can gather the um, tissue sample for 
the mall that we earlier failed at getting because we were chased away by Glaive. But now we've used our beam to stay cold, so hopefully we will manage to get around the mall without attracting too much attention. The mall is on the other side, but I was going the wrong direction, so let's get up this way. Again, one thing to notice is that Pulse Wave's Xeno Scanner is not going to highlight only the impact points, but it will highlight also what, where the materials that um, can be obtained from the Titan can be gathered from. Which isn't all that useful or handy, but it's, I guess, an additional nice feature. Alright, we're back in the mall area. And I, again, I attracted the attention of a Glade. Which is particularly annoying. Let's see if I can shake them. I think at this point I managed to shake them. All right, let's see if we can finally obtain our tissue sample from the mall what we were trying to do all along. Alright. Here's our tissue, limpet point. Again, you have to sub-target the docking port and fire our limpet research. Our research limpet. Now we're gonna stay cold this time and see if we can avoid getting attention from these blaze that are around here at this point in time. This is turned green so you can see a target launch. As you can see, I can actually use the secondary mode. Well, I can't, because this thing is more than a kilometer away. Like, but maybe the glaive is close. No, it's still, like, pretty far away. So, let me keep using my beam to stay cold while the limpet finishes its job. The Titan Maw extraction points are on the tip of the maw. Like, on these green-yellow things at the top, as you can see over there. There's another one. And... That's really all there is to it. At this point in time, there's not much that can be done with these tissue samples, other than noting that they're like uh, coming these three different varieties and they're caustic in nature, then probably store them on your carrier if you have one. Um, or I guess you can sell them. We tried taking them to different engineers to see if they had any kind of reaction, but so far we have not found that either Palin or Ramta or any of the usual engineers that have shown an interest in materials have any interest whatsoever in these uh, in these new tissue samples so if there is a use for them it will be relieved late will be re revealed later on and I need obviously the cargo scoop again to beat and this again is a Titan more partial tissue sample um, the regular tissue samples the one that have neither qualifier so not partial and not deep are typically the most common um, However, the deep tissue samples and partial tissue samples are also relatively common. So if you're trying to get them all, it's relatively fast to get them all. If you have a reasonable amount of limp that you take with you around Titan space. And that's it. That's all there is to the new Pulsewave Xeno Scanner and to the new materials that can be acquired by the Titan Park, uh, the Park Titan itself. Glory to Mankind and fly safe, Commanders. Commander Mechanel.